Welcome to Paranormal Almanac Presents Boozy Haunts. On the first episode of Boozy Haunts, I'm actually not going to take you to a haunted location, but instead, we're going to make a haunted drink. That's right, you'll see in just a second. Welcome to the first episode of Paranormal Almanac Presents Boozy Haunts. But on this first episode, I'm not actually going to take you to a haunted location. Well, apart from the fact that my house is haunted. If you're a regular listener of Paranormal Almanac, you'll know what I'm talking about. But instead, I'm going to teach you how to make a haunted beverage. A haunted alcoholic beverage. It's called Mama Wana. What exactly is Mama Wana? Well, you're going to need to get some Mama Wana mix. You can buy that from Amazon. It's a bunch of, well, it looks like a bunch of sticks, but it's herbs and spices and wood. You're going to need some of that. Go to Amazon, description, it'll be in the description below. You're going to need some honey, but not just any honey. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. You're going to need some rum. Why did I pick a Dominican Republic rum? Well, because Mama Juana is from the Dominican Republic. That's right. Let me read this to you. Mama Juana comes from the Dominican Republic, and its juices are considered one of the first distilled spirits in the Americas, even before rum. Now, the first uses trace back nearly 500 years to the native Tainau people. The uh, local shamans who invented Mama Wana, uh, they drank it. They're said to have mixed it with herbal tea, and then they figured out, you know what makes everything better? Alcohol. Uh, it's a cure-all for everything. It's also known as Dominican Viagra. So, if you need that, no judgment. Make yourself some Dominican Viagra, but, but this is Paranormal Almanac. So how do, I, how do I make it spooky, you might be asking. Well, for that, we do go to the honey. And the reason I say we go to the honey is we go to beeguys.com. That's beeguys with a Z, beeguys.com. They have their own haunted honey. That's right, haunted honey. Website directly. Honeybees find many places to make their home in during the year, and down in South Louisiana, on a regular basis, they get into above-ground tombs and mausoleums. That's right. I don't know if you know this, but all of Louisiana's dead are buried above ground, and when they're buried above ground in tombs and mausoleums, well, sometimes bees get in there, and when they get in there, they do kind of bee stuff, and they make some honey, and beeguys.com goes in and takes honey that was made in a mausoleum. Yeah, I'll try it in a minute. Huh. They say uh, the haunted honey was removed from the interior of grave sites, usually from above coffins in some of the most notoriously known haunted cemeteries in the world, known as the cities of the dead. So yeah, we're gonna add a little bit of haunted honey, some Dominican Republic rum, some red wine, and a bag of sticks. We're gonna make our own Mama Wana. Wana. Well, like I said, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna break open this bag of Don Ramon Mama Wana Authentica. It is sun-dried stems, herbs, and spices. 100% traditional flavor. All right. I'm eager to smell this, I'll be honest. I, I got this in the mail the other day, but I've not smelled it yet. So, all right, the first thing we're gonna need is Mama Wana Mix. I got Don Ramon's Mama Wana Mix from Amazon, description below, but the bag is sealed, so I can't smell it. So hold on a second, let's rip this puppy open. Well, that smells good. Wow, this smells really good. Wow, this is, um, smells like Christmas, actually. Now, I don't know what that string is for. I'll find out in a second. There's a big piece of paper. And then there's just a whole bunch of bark, but it's not just bark. I can already see a star of anise. Now, I will say I'm not a huge fan of uh, anise flavor, the black licorice flavor, so I probably won't put all of these in there. You can kind of mix and match, make your own Mama Juana. That's what all the families do in the Dominican Republic from everything I can find online. But let's find out what it says. 
All right, Don Ramon Mamawana. Oh, it tells me how to brew it. Perfect. Recipes below are for 16 ounces. Well, I'm making 64, so way more than that. Uh, it goes smooth and sweet brew, strong smooth brew, or original Dominican brew, which is exactly what we're doing, is Dominican brew. I want the original Dominican brew. And I already know how, I've got it online. Uh, I wonder what the, I wonder what the rope is for. I wonder what the string's for. Figure that out later. All right, so first things first. Let's pour some of this into my jar here. If I can, now that the bag's all ripped. There's a lot of cinnamon sticks in here too, I can see. I've been told that when you think you've had too, enough of it in there, to pour more in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, that's a lot. I don't know. So I, I, I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in there. What the hell? And make a mess doing it. I need some of that crap in there and some of that in there. That looks like a flower. You want one of that in there. What else did I miss? That? Sure. Throw that in there. Yeah, why not? I think that was on my bar to begin with. That doesn't matter. Alrighty, so you got your jar of Mama Wana mix. Next thing you're gonna need. Rum. Now you're gonna to wanna to fill this up halfway with rum. So let's do it. And like I said, I bought a Dominican Republic dark rum because we're making a Dominican Republic drink, Mama Wana. So what the hell? Oh my God. Sure, why not? Now, I do want to grab one more thing of rum for a very special reason, so I'll be back in and two seconds. All righty. I do want to add just a splash of Kilo Kai rum. And the reason I want to add this to it is because if you're a listener of the podcast, you're going to know that every episode I shout out a Joe Teague. Special shout outs to Joe Teague on every episode. Uh, he was my best friend. He passed away tragically, but... His favorite rum was Kilo Kai rum. You can't buy it in California, it's dumb. So I don't have a lot of it, so that's why I didn't make it fully with Kilo Kai, but I do wanna add just a, I don't know, a touch of Joe to the Mama Wana. There we go, I wanna save the rest of this. Alrighty, now that we got the rum in there, we gotta add the wine. And there's no way possible that I'm going to be able to do this efficiently or quickly. So enjoy watching me open up a bottle of wine because I don't drink wine. Now I picked the creepiest label wine ever. I have no idea if it's any good. It's 19 Crimes, the banished dark red wine from 2020. You know, that chestnut of a year. Like I say, I have no idea if it's good wine or bad wine, but it's wine, and that's what it asks for. And it does say to use red wine, so... So I am. Really? Alrighty, so you got half, a little over half, but that's fine, of rum. 40% of red wine. Yeah, that's good. Just touch more, because why not? And then the final 10% is honey. Now the honey ratio is actually pretty much per flavor. Some people like it a little sweeter, some people like a little less, but it's roughly around 10% of honey. So I finally get to open up my haunted honey from beeguys.com. That's guys with a Z. Beeguys.com haunted honey, honey made in a mausoleum by bees in a grave. I mean, 
It doesn't taste like dead people. It just tastes like bees. Hold on. Okay. Because this is very special honey, I'm only going to use a small portion of that. Oh, I made a mess. I'm only going to use a small portion of that honey. I want to save the rest of it for other haunt, boozy haunt episodes. Other boozy haunts episodes. So, now I need to use some substitute regular honey. Non-scary, non-spooky bear edition. For the rest. There we go. Stir it up just a little bit with my own skull stirrer. Yep, that tastes like wine. Now I've been told not to shake it up or anything, but to just mix it up a little bit. You want to make sure that that honey gets through all the wood. I guess. I have no idea. But it needs one more thing. Hold on one second. And here we have it. The first of many Paranormal Almanac Mama Wana. Made with haunted honey, some rum, and some wine. Okay, so the first thing I was told is to let it sit for at least five days, but after the third day to start tasting it just to make sure that it tastes good, because I guess it can get really antiseptic tasting if you let it sit for too long or if it happens to be too hot, which it is in California right now. So after three days, I'm going to start tasting it, see how it goes. My guess is around five days is when I'm going to crack open Mama Wana and we'll try it for the first time. The Mama Wana with the haunted honey and the rope for some strange reason. We'll get a try and I'll let you know how Mama Wana is. And also I'm going to bottle a couple of these bottles. Keep one here at the Illumatiki Lounge. I'm trying to figure out a name for my tiki bar, so let me know what a good name for my Paranormal Almanac Tiki Bar is. It's not going to be Paranormal Almanac Tiki Bar, but let me know what you guys think is a good name for my home tiki bar, which I'll give you a tour later tonight. It looks it looks a lot better at night, but let me know for a, let me know what you guys think. What's a good name for the Paranormal Almanac Tiki Bar? Aluma Tiki Lounge? Do you like that? Do you not like it? I don't know. You tell me. But part two we'll be tasting the very first haunted Mama Wana, I think on the planet. Pretty sure on the planet. I'm just gonna say it, it's the first one on the planet. All right guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you click like and subscribe below. Tell me what I should drink, what I should make for boozy haunts, where I should go. Do you have any haunted bars in and around Los Angeles? It's where I'm gonna start first, is all the haunted bars in and around Los Angeles. And we're gonna go from there, but where do you think I should go? What haunted beverages do you think I should make? I got some ideas. I can't wait for you. Thank you guys so much. Once again, I'm your host, Kurt Sandig, and this has been the first edition of Paranormal Almanac Presents Boozy Haunts.